Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. I've just about got this solar installed on this camper. Ended up getting a pretty bad head cold and just recovered to the point now to where you can actually understand me when I talk. But uh, I've been really thinking hard about this uh, battery box situation on this new camper. This one happens to not be ventilated it's just a box and a storage box up in the front so so I can have peace of mind and sleep well at night I decided to go ahead and ventilate it and build a box and again the lighting is probably not very good but I'm going to show it to you so inside here I have some heavy-duty plastic um, and I kind of made a box out of that just to contain any fluids if they happen to come out of these batteries battery acid or whatever bouncing around on dirt roads or something I never really had a problem with them in the van and I don't expect that I'll have a problem with them in here but just for safe measure I decided to do that I just laid it in there and folded up the corners and lined it so it is waterproof or liquid proof down below and then I built a box frame on that side over there. You can just barely see the top of it with a 2x2. Two two. And some of that floor laminate that I've been using building all my other van stuff. And I built a slope to the top of it. And then I have another piece identical to that piece that's going to go right here. Right up against this plastic. And then uh, on the bottom of it, it will screw down to the floor. So that'll serve two purposes. It'll be this side of the box and also keep the batteries from shifting left and right. That metal can over there goes into the propane section. So that, that thing is sealed off and will eliminate the batteries from moving that direction. And then they're tight enough front to back. I don't have a problem with that. And then if you look up here, I've got a line and three holes. So those holes are just going to fit just barely below the lid of this box is going to come down like this. And I'm just going to screw it on with three or four screws. And uh, so any gas will come up, hit the top at the bottom of the lid, and then just go out these vents. I don't have a lower vent, just the upper vent, but I put three of them and these are two inch holes. And uh, the cool thing is I had some screens, screened vents left over from building the van. These are the same ones I use on the van, same vents. And I actually put them in here on the side of the camper. And these are siliconed in, so they vent downward. They're covered by the fifth wheel, so that's probably not going to be a big deal. The only thing would be road water, water kicking up and spraying up from my truck if I'm driving in hard rain or something but I don't think it'll be a problem if it is I'll just put duct tape on them just while I'm driving in the rain so I've got one back there two three so six inches worth of vent for the box and then that way I'll have the batteries covered and I can continue to use this area up here for storing items and uh, won't have to worry about anything shorting out on those on those battery leads there here's the here's the other side if I can get it out here I'll show you how this is gonna go in so it's a tight fit but it just sets in here it pushes up against the battery like that <clears throat> push it up tight and then I'll screw it down or four screws across here and then that's going to hold that wall in place and the batteries and then I'll put my lid on the top and I make I'm in the process of making the lid right now it'll just go right up on top of there the lid will have uh, I'm going to use some weather strip along here and along that other side and then across the front to seal off the the lid and then I'm going to have to cut a notch in the lid to accommodate these wires. So 
so it'll be a u-notch in the lid and I'm gonna line it with some foam and it'll slide right over the top of those wires and uh, we'll see how that works out so that's what I've been trying to get done today's halfway decent weather sun shining and it's the snow is melted we've been getting snow all day yesterday and pretty darn cold and it's supposed to get cold here in the next couple of days more more cold than what it is now so I'm trying to get this done so I quit messing around with it and uh, our plan is to head out of here right after Christmas so I actually think I talked my wife into going along with me sometimes I think I have her talked into it and sometimes I don't think I do but we'll see either way I'm going just after the just after I'll probably wait till after the holidays after the first and then I'm hitting the road headed to Arizona I want to go to the RTR I've been talking about that for two or three years now so I'm gonna try to make it out there for that and then spend as much time as I can possibly spend in Arizona and out in that warmer area Texas until uh, until winter's over with or until I get forced to come back here for some reason but anyhow hope you're all doing well give you a quick update on this uh, solar install I'll give you a little bit of video and show you what it looks like when I get it completed but that'll be probably today or late tomorrow today or early tomorrow all right take care see ya